Hi everyone. I hope everyone's doing okay. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. A um, couple of changes since the last time I talked to you. Uh, I did start going to therapy. Um, I've only been to one session so far because they were unfortunately only able to schedule me a month out after my first appointment, which is kind of a bummer because that's not exactly what I was expecting. Um, it's through my healthcare provider, so I can't be too picky um, as far as that goes. Um, but I'm thinking about um, well, I'm going. What I'm going to do is continue with it for a couple more months, see how it goes, and if I don't feel like it's helping, then I will go private, most likely. Uh, so yeah, my first therapy session was interesting. Um, we talked about, one of the big things we talked about was my perfectionism. Um, that's something that's really kind of screwed with me a lot. Um, I, I have the type of personality where you either have to do it perfect or don't do it at all. And uh, that's really been hard in um, the past and that's why I struggled so much with school um, in the past and in the present. Um, because for me, the way I look at it is if I don't do the assignment perfectly or go to class and be the perfect student, then there's no point in doing it at all. And that's really brought me down a lot and really discouraged me. And that's when the negative thoughts kind of come into play. And that's what I really want to go to therapy for is addressing those negative thoughts and stopping myself from thinking that way. Um, so. The main thing I want to get out of the therapy is strategy um, for dealing with the negative thoughts. And so this first session, the strategy she gave me was to, when I have a negative thought, to talk to it and say, I understand and I hear your opinion, but I'm not going to listen to you. I'm going to do it this way. And that was a little weird. Um, I've tried it and it just feels very unnatural and I guess it would, you know, regardless of how you feel about it, but I don't know. I just thought that was kind of weird, but um, I'll keep trying it until I see her next appointment and hopefully we'll have some more strategies when I go for the second appointment, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, a little, little strange. Um, so I have an update uh, as far as school goes. Um, I did decide to withdraw. Um, I was getting to a point where I was missing so much class that I got so behind that there's just, there's just no possible way for me to catch up. And I just decided it's just not worth the stress because you know school is stressful on its own. And then you add the stress of missing four weeks of class or you know for me it was like seven weeks. And so it's like, there's no way that I'm going to be able to catch up and it's just not going to be worth it. And so um, I did decide to withdraw. Um, I'm really going to take the rest of the semester and the summer to really focus on myself um, without any distractions. Um, really focus on the therapy, really focus on addressing those negative thoughts and bad habits that I've developed. And I'm going to go back in the fall. That is my goal. Um, Hopefully, that's what will happen. Uh, ECT is going well. I'm still going once every three weeks, and that part of my treatment is, is great. Um, I'm having no issues with it. I really do believe that at this point where I'm at, um, the therapy that didn't work before the ECT is really going to help me now because, you know, I'm doing well. It's just when I get into those situations that... Um, bring up those bad memories and bad habits it's you know it's really messing with me and so that's something that um, that I really think is the focus here but I am going to continue with the maintenance ECT we might even go to once a month um, pretty soon but we'll see how that goes um, yeah so that's basically the update I have um, oh one more thing um, I did start a Facebook page and I did it just because I want to have a space where um, people can go on and share their stories and share their advice with other people. And also I'm going to be posting 
different videos and articles and things that I find about ECT because really the the big you know thing behind this this YouTube channel was to bring more awareness to ECT and what it does and I thought that it might be good to start a Facebook page um, for the community to kind of be able to talk about because it's a little bit easier on Facebook because like not everyone sees the comments on YouTube and um, people have messaged me um, their stories but not everyone gets to see that and if you are comfortable with doing that um, I think that would be something that could be really helpful to others um, so yeah I'm gonna post the link in the box below the video so that um, you can find it and yeah, I think that's about it. So um, I wish you all the best and uh, I will talk with you later.